Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to install ChatGPT extension on our Visual Studio Code. I'm sure you all have, you know, heard about ChatGPT and you would have tried your hands on. So we are just trying to install the extension. If you go to the extension, type ChatGPT and go for this one. Uh, it has been deprecated, but it was the most popular one. Uh, they have created a new version of it. Uh, and if you install this one it's called chat gpt genie ai i'll just go ahead and install this one so the chat gpt the one which was deprecated was the most popular one and i think they wanted to do some upgrades on it and i think yeah, this is a new one this is a much better so go ahead and read about the documentation how to get started all the features new features it has and uh, how much it has improved how you can query the chat gpt to for your purpose the prompts you know what how, what kind of prompts you can actually make to the chat gpt for a particular piece of code so uh yeah let's let's not waste any more time let's on the left side at the bottom you will uh, i mean left tray you will see the lamp icon which is for the genie ai chat gpt genie ai from the command palette as well you can go ahead and query and ask anything to chat gpt that's your command palette of uh, once so this is the query that i mean this is the prompt that i had actually made to the chat gpt on my web browser i'll make the same prompt uh, but via the visual studio code so i've copied it i'll just go here i'll paste it and enter once you paste it it will once you do it for the first time it will ask you for the api key the api key is uh you know you can fetch it from the open ai website so you need to go to your open ai account on the there is the api keys available here just copy it go back to your visual studio code and paste it here and press enter there you go chat gpt extension is now available on your visual studio code and as you see i have asked it to create a terraform code for a storage account with variables so it is writing down the entire code but one important thing here is that this code is invalid and i will tell you more about this code why it is invalid and why you should not just be you know <laughs> copy pasting it it will not work because it runs on a previous version of terraform so you will need to have a particular version on which this code will run. Thanks for watching. Watch out for my next video on ChatGPT and Terraform. Thank you so much. Keep supporting.